when you go to school, it is the school's responsibility to make sure that the kids are protected and that they are safe. And this did not happen. She says that her daughter's school is simply not doing enough. And now this mother is demanding change after a bullying incident at the Charter School for Applied Technologies left her daughter with a massive gash in her forehead. And she joins a number of parents in the same school who reached out to us online. Two on your side's Erica Brecker took their concerns to the school for answers. And we want to warn you, some of these images are graphic. There's been some bullying um, in the school overall, just not with my daughter, but a lot of parents are complaining of the bullying going on. Middle schooler Twana says two girls with a reputation for bullying followed her into the bathroom Tuesday and assaulted her. At least one picture is too graphic to show you on TV, but the assault was so bad that Twana needed stitches in her head. The Charter School for Applied Technologies acknowledges it happened and says police are involved. The school put a statement online and sent robocalls home today, but this happened to Twana yesterday. Her mother, Carla Warren, says it's too little too late. For the most part, it's just been verbal with my daughter, so I kind of teach her, you know, don't pay attention to people's words. They, anyone can say anything that they want as long as they don't put their hands on you or harm you. What do you want to see happen or change? I would like to see uh, more security because that is part of the problem. If there had been security in place, um, my daughter would have never been assaulted. She would have never been left in a pool of blood in the bathroom for 10 minutes unconscious. Communication Director Lori Allen says the school takes bullying seriously and says leaders are meeting tomorrow to discuss it. Warren says there's a growing concern over gang-related violence in the school, too, and that the current discipline system isn't working. Then they'll fight again, suspension again, come back. This is like a vicious cycle. Buffalo police say one of the two girls involved in the assault is in custody and that the investigation is ongoing. The school's communications director tells me neither of them are allowed back at school if and until a superintendent's hearing takes place. Erica Brecker, Channel 2 News.